Hey everybody, it's Gavin Rusher here from GCR Outdoors. Today, I'm going to be doing a versus on these two tip-ups. Starting off, what we have is the classic Heritage Laker ice trap, I believe is what they're called. Uh, just these Heritage tip-ups. And then another awesome tip-up that we have here that we're, is going against the Heritage is the HT, the Hard Water Explorer. Just going over the pros and cons of each one what I think of each one. I like to compare these two especially just because they're very similar, they match up in size, and they're generally used for the same kind of fishing. I like to use these for pike fishing mostly. I just feel like the bigger spools and the adjustable drags and the flags on these guys are the best. So starting off with the pricing of each one. So the Hardwater Explorer, the HT tip up, most of the time $25 the retail price, which is fairly good for each tip up $25 that gets expensive quick the heritage tip up is actually $35 generally actually it's $40 most of the time per tip up but stores like uh, Dick's Sporting Goods they sell them for $40 <clears throat> so obviously the HT is cheaper and that's gonna draw more people towards the HT so starting next, I would say durability. Durability for these guys, I've had this for, I think this is a year old and this guy's pretty br like brand new. I've only used it a few times. They, they've held up very nicely. The the wood I've noticed on the these um, hard water explorers are, it's a lot like, it feels stronger. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but like pressure treated almost. And the wood on the heritage are very soft. Another thing that you can take into consideration that's better, I think, about the HTs is that the spool is actually galvanized. It's a galvanized metal spool, and the one on the Heritage is plastic. The uh, Heritage reeled more than the HT, even though the HT is metal, is the drag system on the on the Heritage. It is a brass under ring with a, uh, just like, I believe a galvanized or stainless steel wing nut and it's so adjustable these reels are so smooth the plastic doesn't freeze as much as the galvanized does it'll never rust but i guess that it would be more prone to cracking this does also have an adjustable drag system pretty good definitely not as tight or as smooth as the heritage but it's a good it's still good the biggest thing i would say that puts the the heritage um, on top when it comes to the durability would be the flags. The flag, as you can see on this one, is a little bit different. It has like this thick spring on the bottom and when you store it, you actually are just bringing it down and snapping it into this little holding area. And that's actually where you keep it, you know, just to store it. So, but when you're setting it, it goes right into this little notch and then it flips up. But when you're done with it, you just put it back down and that keeps the flag like from bending. That flag does not bend. It doesn't get warped, but the HT flag has a solid metal bar with a metal like a uh, bracket right here. And when you you pull it out, you know, to start and then you would set it just like the heritage and it goes off. But when you're done with it, Putting it back down to store it, it is sometimes this will get frozen and pulling this out and it, it'll get rusty. It's not as durable, and the flag is obviously it's one of the most important parts of the whole tip up. So for for pricing, obviously the the HT wins, but for durability, I'll have to give it to the the heritage. So the next thing I want to go into is overall function and like the mechanics of it and how it works and which one is better. Uh, I will start start off by saying the visibility on both of these tip ups is very nice, but the eight, the hair the heritage stands taller than the HD. So the general um, like the premise of the way a tip up works, these tip ups, you take the flag out and it bends down like this so I want to show you guys this on the the way this HT works so the HT can win trip sometimes 
but it doesn't happen very often. And we just fished in like 10 plus mile per hour winds and we had no wind strips with these guys. So the way it works, the, as you can, this is like the metal piece, the rod, and when the spool is turned, it, 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 it hits this little metal rod, Ooh, wrong way, like this. And it actually turns the metal rod, flipping the flag off, and the fish can take it. Now, the way these guys are set up, the way it works is right here, this little piece, you hook the flag here, and then when the spool turns, it moves that piece, which pushes the flag off. So just having a flat metal piece like that, it is possible for it to wind trip, can wind trip. The casing, it actually doesn't have a huge casing right here. It comes down and it turns into a plastic casing, which is fine. I haven't had any problems with it, but I'm sure it's not as durable as like a metal one. But it also doesn't freeze, which is awesome, you know? Plastic doesn't, these, we, I haven't had any of these uh, HTs freeze in the casing, the flags. But when water does get in there, it, it does try to freeze. It likes it'll stiffen up a little bit, but it still still moves very well. The the tip up, the way this little piece right here is what hits the flag, which is kind of flimsy. That little metal piece coming over at the heritage, the heritage tip up has a fully covered. Um, I believe it's either cop yeah copper full cover copper tube that covers the whole entire rod that actually flips the tip up off. And the Heritage is a little bit different. The Heritage has the general, same general premise of like this, this moves and flips the flag off. But this little middle plate right here has the perfect notch that makes the, the Heritage tip ups never wind trip. And for Heritage tip ups, they still can wind trip. Even though a lot of people claim that they can't. I've never had them wind trip. Um, HTs I have. So I would say that the gen overall mechanics of this is better because it it doesn't wind trip. And it is just, it's very, it's a better build quality. This little plate right here is solid. I feel like that would never break off. The wood would break before that would ever come off. And then coming down here, the copper. This has never froze on me, which is nice. And look how big that piece of metal is right there. It's very strong, very well built. And it is, everything about this is very smooth. The spool has a solid plastic piece right there, which I like a little bit better because on the, the HT, it bends. And sometimes it can bend down and the reel can spin and never set off the flag. But for the Heritage, it and that can never happen because it is a set piece of plastic. And the brass uh, under ring here and the makes the drag very adjustable and the reel very smooth. It's very tight, which I really enjoy about this. So overall, mechanics of it are very good. The way these arms come out, the same on the the uh, HTs. I've noticed that they're actually easier to tighten on the Heritage. They stay tight a little bit longer, but that is, I think, part of the soft wood that does that. Maybe that's why they have it. On the HT, though, Pulling these out, they actually have these little metal flat parts here with a wing nut on the other side. And you can tighten them down pretty good, but it's still, it's kind of loose after a while. Obviously, the brand new ones are going to have, like, be tighter when, when you first start off. But I really do like, though, the handheld tighten part on the HT, so that would definitely be a bonus of the HT. But for overall build quality, I'm going to have to give it to the, the uh, Heritage tip up because... My personal opinion, it performs better, it's easier to use, and I, I'll have to give it to that, but it is a lot more expensive. Um, I guess the last category would have to be store storability and how easy it is to like, you know, carry with you and stuff. Well, I would say that obviously the HT is shorter, so the Heritage does stand a little bit taller, it's a little bit wider. The, the spool is slightly bigger on the heritage tip up but not by much so i'm gonna have to give it to the ht just because it is a slightly shorter so my personal opinion which ones are the best ones it's got to be the heritage heritage i think are the better tip ups but 
for the price, you really can't beat an HT. So $25 versus $40. The limit on Lake Champlain, which is where I fish, the limit of tip ups is 15. Is a little bit better, it's a little bit easier to get behind. But if you're trying to go for the overall quality and the ones you really want to last, they'll both last a long time. But if you want the best quality, go for the go for the heritage. If you are balling on a budget, go for the HT. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for everyone who watched the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.